I came in Walmart for one game, one board game that was $19, y'all. Tell me how it happened so fast. How does this happen so fast? Welcome back to my channel. You chose a great day to tune in today because I will be doing my very first vlog. I am out here at a nature trail, you guys, in my neighborhood, and it is my very first time working out in 2020 since this whole quarantine corona stuff happened. And I've been putting on a few pounds, so I said today is the day like a good four or five people could have survived off all the food I didn't eat this month um, I didn't party, I've been drinking, carrying on, and it's time to get my body back in shape. I feel horrible like these past few days I just been feeling really really down and out not like emotionally but physically I can't even go up the stairs to my apartment without breathing hard y'all know I got asthma um so I need to just get my body back in shape I need to get out here and just do something with my life it's gonna be very ambitious for me to try to do this but I'm gonna try to do a mile and I'm gonna take y'all with me so stay tuned for this vlog it should be fun No turning back now. I got to finish my mouth. Pray for me. I completed my mile, y'all, and I know I look like it, so I'm about to go take a shower and freshen up. I might even treat myself to a smoothie because I feel like I deserve it. I did a whole mile my first day back. This edge control right here ain't nothing to play with. I was in the hair store the other day and I went in there to get some Marley hair to do these twists right here. I already had everything I needed, everything else that I needed at home. I just went in there to grab the hair. And as soon as I walked in the hair store, it was this new big display. And y'all know I do hair, so I'm always in the hair store. Multiple times a week, I'm going in the hair store getting supplies. So it just caught me off guard because I'm not used to seeing that. I walk in and it's a big display. All you see is Sweetie 
it's a cardboard poster and then next to her is like a case or a display of all these different colored edge controls and it immediately caught my attention because it was so many different colors and then you got this big poster board of her like you can't miss it so i walked up to it and i'm looking at it and i should have filmed that but I, I wasn't expecting to fall in love with this edge control like i did so i didn't think it was something i should have captured whole bunch of different flavors or fragrances whatever you want to call it but it's a whole case all the flavors you can think of i ended up getting the sweet peach y'all i got it on monday today is friday i'm at the point where i'm scraping corners y'all see it I'm in love with this edge control on monday when i did it i was in shock and i wanted to say something then but i was like let me give it a couple days because it could be a product where after a couple days it start building up but all week long no residue so i'm in love with this this is the 2.99 tube um because i like it so much i've done it a whole week i've used it a whole week and i haven't had any problems i want to go and try another like a different one maybe grape or fruit punch or i love pineapple scent and mango scent i might do that since i've already like wiped the peach one clean but first off it smells amazing i'm all about smells being somebody that works with hair products all day long people coming in with leave-in conditioners different oils or greases that they want to try and having to take in all these different fumes and smells all day long i'm just a smell person when it comes to hair um, so just opening a tube and having a refreshing fruity smell to just have in my hair. I wanted to get on here and give y'all a review. If y'all haven't already, maybe I'm just late, but if y'all haven't already tried it, please go check out Sweetie's um, Edge Control line. Really, it's a Kiss product and it partnered with Sweetie. She's the whole marketing strategy for this whole line. Um, as I described earlier, that whole poster board, billboard type thing that was standing up in the um hair store it sold me at first because i seen her i seen all the different colors i walked up to it and then it was actually a product that was worth talking about so y'all check this out it's really really cute i think i i chose the peach because it's rose gold um and i'm into like the whole rose gold phase right now but I'm willing to try some other colors and I'll get on on a later vlog and tell y'all more about the different flavors that I've tried but this sweet peach y'all see it <laughs> let's pause the vlog for a moment just to get into these nails real quick they are so bright and so vibrant i love them so much my friend treated me to a nail slash drink date yesterday as a late birthday gift and i am in love with this set i thank my friends so much it was a beautiful experience Walmart for one game one board game that was $19 y'all tell me how it happened so fast how does this happen so fast I don't even look like I got $85 worth of stuff junk food y'all chips chewy muffins how do I spend a hundred dollars almost when I came in here for a board game so I got the game home, y'all, and I'm about to open it. It's really cool. They have all of the famous Atlanta monuments on this game. So Coca-Cola Factory, the State Capitol, the Zoo, Atlanta Braves, Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Hawks. This whole board game is just centered around the city of Atlanta. So... Yeah, the Varsity, that's one of our famous restaurants. Well, fast food spots. The Martyr, that's our bus station. Our bus transit unit. Piedmont Park, one of our most famous parts. Underground Atlanta, Atlantic Station. It's like a shopping area. Chattahoochee River, the Dogwood Festival.
by the same player, the owner may charge twice the rent mm-hmm. for undeveloped properties. Mm-hmm. All rent must be requested before the next roll of the dice. So if you don't notice somebody on your shit, you got it. You got you <laughs> good. <yeah. laughs> All money parts to be paid other than the rent and purchase price. Of hey, with y'all land on them, dog, y'all got to pay what's at the top. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, run that back because Damo was busy. Yeah. Um, so. That's 760. You said 760? Yeah. Count behind Jen because that math. Um. Just if I don't have no no city blocks on my property, yeah. you're just gonna be paying fourteen dollars for this, right? Yeah. But once I put a city block on it, whatever the price is at the top, that's what you're gonna have to pay me. Uh, whatever. Let's rock it. Are you good, big money? Nah, I ain't big money. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Yeah. And then, then let's say we get one of these cards, and you gotta pay seventy five or something. All of that stay in the middle of the board, and whoever lands on this, oh, they yeah. get that pot. plus one thirty if you want to go ahead and mortgage yeah. it. And then if you want to add city blocks, that's how much. And if you want the key to the city. Plus four city blocks. These, these are prices. Okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we're just gonna go with the flow, cause I shit. I don't know. Let's do it. Um, right now, we have to get No, I'm gonna go first, and then it goes to her left, which is Jen. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> I can't move it. What you got? Eight. You got an eight off the rip. Which one? Um, the high five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And we, you gotta pass the board once where you can buy anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> hey. What that is? I can't count. What that is? I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, that's eleven. Oh look, you're going to traffic jam. Ow. <laughs> Meat trail in traffic. No. No. So we should do it. We gotta trade some and pay them. This is I like this game, y'all. What you offer me? The West End and, and the stack, baby. For that Sun Trust. For Sun Trust Park. Do yeah. I wanna give it up, y'all? You gotta give it up and pay. No, you ain't paying for this. I ain't gotta pay this oh, a trade-off. Oh, she owe me. Oh. She wants something I, I got. Know. How much you want? You, if you don't want a stack, you want something lower? You want something higher? No, nah, stack fine. Let's, start, let's do stacks. Yeah, yeah we do it's stacks. a stack. If you want to do a trade-off, it's a stack. Hand me my money. There you go. Count. No more, no less. What, uh, I got three. want what I got? I got three. I got three. When we get three, now you can start putting six blocks on. All right, Jen. Jen. Can I pay you a stack to get six flags so I can have my three yellow? Yeah, what somewhere? this is? What this is for me? No, Jen didn't want a property. She want um, the, the car bank. Oh. Three, four, Y'all, they Since all, they all had to advance five. to my shit. Can I get a cat? <laughs> Can I give you five and get out of there? Can I give you five and get out of there? So I can see, I got the key to the street. With key to the How city, seven fifty. They all gotta pay me seven hundred. Can I give you a get out of jail free card? Let me see what I'm willing to do. Damn. Y'all, I got Buckhead, Midtown, West End, and East Atlanta. They in the fucking city. They okay. They owe Man, me. You've been cheating. I haven't. I haven't though. I haven't. They so mad because I own Stone Mountain, Six Flags, Chattahoochee River, the Georgia Aquarium. I got a get out of jail free card. Well, it's a traffic jam free card. And all the peaches to the city. What? Ricky, where you putting that at? 